Hi guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. We're gonna do some primitive items today. Um, I have this basket that I'm pretty sure I rescued from probably the dump store <laughs> that I call it the Free Shack, Fall Mart. Got lots of names for it. But anyway, it's a place at the dump where um, people go and put their stuff that they don't really necessarily want to throw away. Uh, yard sale stuff that didn't sell. You never know. What you, you never know what you're going to find. Like I find all kinds of treasures. It's closed right now. It's winter time. But it will be opening up in the spring. And I'm sure I'll have more treasures to find. I'm going to have to make some room down here. So i got to get going on making some crafts. So the other thing I have is this grater. Um, it's already quite nice and rusty. Uh, on one side anyway. And you know, it's been kicking around a while. I've had it, don't know where I got it, probably the same place. And I thought I'd put these two together. I wanted kind of a towel holder for a wall in my kitchen. So I thought that I would put it upside down. We're gonna do a little, little something with that. So I need to paint that. The other thing that I wanted to do is this guy here, this guy here. I don't know um, if you've been with me for a little bit, you remember me going to the uh, Goodwill and I got this for $3, but I think the pink was uh, the 50% off day, so I got it for $1.50. And it's a nice hamper, it's really nice. Uh, the only problem with it was on the bottom, there was a little strip of wood that was broken on the corner over here and it was peeled up and it was not fixable. So what I did was I started taking it all off around the bottom. I'm going to cut some new ones on my table saw and put them on there for a nice trim because it's got staples holding down this rattan stuff or whatever it is, um, these strips of wood. Uh, and so the staples and there's some little nails in there that I don't want to try and get out because I think I'll probably break it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just do some more pieces on there. And I'm going to redo the top. This is fairly clean. It's nice. It's nice and padded. But I think I'm going to redo the top and maybe around the edge, either that or I'm going to put some more strips of wood around the edge so that you can't see it. Okay, we're gonna start with our Rust-Oleum flat black spray paint and spray paint this basket. We're gonna get a coating all over it. And I'm not gonna worry about getting it super, super covered because I'm gonna go back and distress it anyway. Then I'm gonna take this Rust-Oleum multicolored spray paint. It's texture spray paint and I'm gonna spray it all over my grater. That's gonna give it a little bit of a rusty look, but not super dark. I only did a couple of thin coats on there because I wanted to still keep the, the rusty that was on there already showing. And of course I'm cutting my strips for my hamper. So what I did was I cut a bunch of strips. I put them on here. And then I checked to see, I wanted them wide enough so that this one could fit and you couldn't see the end of it from the front. And the same with this end. So let's see. That one's good. And let's make sure this one's good. Yeah, good. All right. You can see it, but I'm using special walnut in the Minwax. It's my favorite stain. I love special walnut. I don't know why. I found it years ago. Um, and I just love the color of it. So 
So you're probably wondering, now Shelly, why did you just stain that, that dark stain, and then now you're painting over it with the black Waverly flat paint? Well, I'm doing that because I want to sand it down, and when I sand it down, I don't want the lighter color to come back. I want the darker stained color when I sand it to come back through um, the parts that get distressed. So that's why I did that. So I have these wooden spoons that I've had kicking around and I wanted to paint them the burgundy color that I just showed you. They're just a flat burgundy um, that I had mixed up at the store. I don't remember which one. Um, but anyway, I've had these spoons and I decided I wanted to add them to my grater and basket um, decor that I was going to make. So I just painted them all over with the burgundy and um, let them dry and then I'll show you a little bit later what I do, what else I do to them to make them look more distressed and aged. I think they came out really pretty. This burgundy I'm not a huge fan because it's more pink but when it dries it is a little darker. Okay, I don't know how much I got because my phone died while I was videoing. So, I did get this and all this sanded. So this is looking really good. Just want to kind of wipe it down and I'll probably put some sealer on it where it's going to be in a bathroom. It probably should have it. I sanded this guy down. I think I missed that part. So I got that all done. I just took my sander and went on it. It was probably about a, um, oh, 220 grit. Wasn't very, very gritty at all. So then my um, grater. So I sprayed it with the Rust-Oleum, oh, what is that stuff? Multi Multicolor textured spray paint. So it makes it look um, like it's kind of rusty. And I didn't do it real thick because there's already some rusty parts and stuff. And then I took my spoons after they were dry and sanded those as well. And then I took my brush that I had painted with on my hamper and I just went, I just got it mostly dry. I dabbed it off and went all around and just brushed all around. It's dry now, but I brushed all around on that to make them look really rustic and um, distressed. So I'm going to set those out because I want to spray those as well. It just makes it easier to clean. So when I did this, I did the same thing. I just took my brush and just went along the edges and just kind of up and down and just kind of all around. Just, just with a little bit of paint, just to give it a little bit of dimension and uh, distress textured look. So I did that and we'll probably spray all this stuff real quick with some clear matte sealer. And then I can get on with covering this um, with the material that I'm gonna cover it with. So I decided to take the spoons instead of letting them just sit free in the grater when I put them in, uh, I decided to glue them together so that they would sit flat and look better. And then I attach the grater to the basket so when it's hanging on the wall and has the towel hanging from the handle that it doesn't pull off and fall. Uh, I could have glued it, but I don't know as it would have been all that good if I had just hot glued it. I would have had to use a stronger glue. And I had some little wires, and I just put them through. It was kind of a stinker to get done, but I got it done. So here I'm just taking my pit berries. I had a little bunch of pit berries of different colors, 
and I took a pen or something round, I think it was a pen, and I just curled those um, little branches around, just a few of them, just makes them look fuller. Um, and so I didn't do all of them. A bunch of them are straight, some are, some are, you know, I just kind of twirled them around a little bit. And then I put the spoons in and I glued the pit berries in. And then I decided I was going to take some material and just rip a strip off and just tie a little bow in the front. And I had a rusty, a couple of rusty stars actually. Um, and I put a bigger one on the front and then I put one in the spoon as well that you'll see at the end. I don't think I got a video of that. Uh, here I am covering the top. I decided to do a checkered print of black and tan on the top. I thought that would definitely add to the rustic look of the hamper. And so I'm just using my hot glue and going all around. I didn't bother stapling um, in there because I thought this would work just fine and it did. It looks really good um, that way. You just want to fold in your corners when you do it. I did not get an up close video of this because um, it's not like a perfect job at all. I'm definitely not an upholsterer, uh, but I, I have covered pillows and cushions before and made them look really nice. But um, so this is the back that you're seeing right now and I'm just pulling this down to cover up that back piece that I did not cover with the pieces of wood because I didn't put one back there. Nobody's going to see that, but I did want it to cover that so it looked nice if somebody did see it. Thank you guys for watching my primitive decor makeover. I really appreciate you stopping by. If you like these projects, please like, share, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching guys. Take care and have a good day.